now dear friend next equation is s equal to ut plus half at square here exactly s stands from the distance covered means for this consider a body consider a body moving with initial initial velocity u after being accelerated changes its velocity to see means it is the final velocity in time t and hence covers a distance distance is small yes now we may write here average velocity average velocity equal to u plus v by 2 we know this means when you take the mean of both velocities then you will get the average velocity also we know distance travel distance travel means yes equal to average velocity into time time taken so for this you may mention that small s equal to instead of average velocity you may put from equation 1 into time t you may write here bracket from equation you may mention here a from equation a again you may write v equal to u plus a t why you are writing u plus a t because from equation 1 we have already derived v equal to u plus a t is not it means the first equation first equation of motion Now you just solve from here. Twice u plus a t by two into t s equal to twice u separate it out a t square by two. Two two cancels out, and finally here we get s equal to u t u into t plus half a t square. Now, this is required equation. Means, let me repeat you once again. How to derive the second equation s equal to u t plus half a t square. Again, you have to consider same thing. Consider a body is moving with initial velocity u after being accelerated means acceleration a changes its velocity to final as a v in time interval t. Now, from here we can write by using the formula of the average velocity, average velocity equal to mean of both velocity u plus v by 2 means let us suppose as a equation a and again we can write distance travel s equal to average velocity into time. Now, s equal to average velocity u plus v by 2 from a into time. Now, next u remains the same, but instead of v means we are using u plus a t from equation first equation. Here you may see 
b equal to u plus e t. Now u plus u becomes 2u and plus a t and divide by 2 here into t here. Now again you just multiply this quantity with this you will get 2 u t divide by 2 means you are separating it out plus here a t into t means a t square divide by again 2 here you just cancel out 2 2 cancels and therefore you will get the s yes equal to u t from here and plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 into a t square. So, this is the required second equation of uniformly accelerated muscle.